Uh, everything. I did. <laughs> I definitely not want to go anywhere else. I love this guy. I love the guys. Love the team. Love the coaches. Love everybody here. So it was it was awesome to get to the opportunity to come back. What did what does it mean to you personally? Um, just kind of having a little bit of an uneven start and then having the opportunity to really prove that you were the guy that could hold down the job and then earn the <coughs> long-term extension. Um, I mean. It, it's good. It's good for confidence, obviously, but I think I still have a lot more to prove. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep working and keep doing what I do and continue to try to prove that I that I earned this. So. Hey, did you uh, did your agent talk to other teams? Did you hear from other teams? Uh, yeah, I mean, there were a few other teams, but I mean, this was a. Uh, I had told him before everything started. This is where I wanted to be, and so whatever he could do to make that work was priority number one. So, yeah, it all worked out. You walked out of here after the Jacksonville game and then next day and all that stuff. How, what was your level of confidence that you'd be back here? I mean, did you think it was really possible or how did you feel? Uh, honestly, I didn't know. I mean, obviously I'd never been through like free agency or anything before. And so I think it was, I just kind of waited to see what happened. And it was, it seemed like it from the, <laughs> the end of the season until March 15th seemed like it was years long. <laughs> it seemed like a really long time. And but yeah, I didn't really know what to expect. So I just kind of had to play it by ear and wait to see what happened. Thank you. No, I have not made a first purchase. My wife and I bought a house in, in Texas, but that was technically before before I signed. But yeah, there was no <clears throat> no big purchase. And Trey, what um, has the experience been like so far getting to know Kellen Moore? Uh, it's been great. I mean, the amount of knowledge he has is is unbelievable. So I think it's going to be um, <laughs> the cool things he can bring to our offense is going to be huge for us. What, what do you think those things are that he'll bring? Uh, I mean, just his his honestly his knowledge of just offense in general. And just his willingness to create and be creative with plays and play calling, things like that, is, is going to be really good for us. Uh, when you re-signed Tom mentioned that you know, he feels that you're still like an ascending player, you know, given where you started and where mm-hmm. you're now. Where do you feel like kind of your game is at right now? Uh, like I said before, I think I still have a lot to prove. And I think I have a lot to improve on and get better at. And so I think I can still, uh, still improve from where I was at last year, for sure. And then uh, what's your relationship in, uh, like with Jamari? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, Jamari's an all right guy. I think he, <laughs> he's he's awesome. I mean, just like everybody else in the whole line room, we're all a very tight knit group. So I mean, whoever is playing anywhere on the line, like we're gonna have really good chemistry either way. And so, um, yeah, I can't wait to to figure out how everything's gonna work out and get comfortable with whoever is next to me. You mentioned kind of like the old line group. How is having someone like Corey in that room help you like grow in the last couple of years that you've been here? Uh, it's huge. I mean, just anytime you can have a vet like Corey, who's been through so much, been to multiple pro balls, all that type of stuff, he can he can teach you so much just about the game, about um, succeeding in the way that you want to succeed and helping you out in your own personal game. Even though he doesn't play tackle or anything like that, just, I mean, the knowledge he has about the game is great. And so he helps a ton. Right. What do you think needs to happen for this team to um, achieve a higher level than it did last year? That's a good question. I think um, we just got to continue to get close and build our chemistry and build our trust in one another. And um, just, yeah, I think that's going to be huge for us. It's the chemistry we can build with one another and continue to trust and really just rely on one another, I think is going to be big for us. How much does the experience of what happened last year help build? I mean, aside from the, the motivation piece, which obviously it's a big motivation to improve and not let something like that happen again, um, just that type of experience, going through something like that with a team, with a group is – just huge for the, like I said, the chemistry and the camaraderie you build when you go through something tough. You fight and fight and fight to come back together stronger. So, is your knee a hundred percent? Oh okay? yeah, I don't even think about it anymore. <laughs> like, It'd be a relief that at least uh, for your knee to have some time off. I yeah, I mean, know. yes, no, it's been it's been good to to get it all rehabbed and fully healthy. Uh, it's been it's been good that I don't have to worry about it anymore for sure. How did your kind of uh, approach to the offseason change like every year that you've been in the league now and how's it led to your development? Yeah, um, so I mean this year it didn't change a whole lot from last year. I still went down to Dallas, but um, I think before that I was just trying to figure out what really worked for me and I didn't really know. But yeah, just the help from Rashawn and Ode just telling me to head down to head down to Duke and really work with like a O-line specific coach and things like that um, really helped me a ton. And so I'm just, yeah, continue that and continue finding what works for me. This will be the first time <coughs> you have the same offensive line coach yeah. in back-to-back seasons. Mm-hmm. Just how helpful is that in terms of consistency and building on what you learned last year and carrying it 
it's it's huge. And I was actually, I was joking with my agent just during free agency. I was like, of course, this is <laughs> Nude is back. This is the first time I'm going to be able to have the same old line coach. And of course, I'm going to like have to go somewhere else or something. I was going to be pissed, but um, <laughs> it's huge. It's huge to have the same that continuity and and terminology and just the relationship you can build with no line coach is, is big. So I think it'll be really big for me. What did he teach you last year that sort of clicked or maybe helped? Because I know last year you talked a lot about the inconsistencies that you had had and now mm-hmm. sort of trying to grow from those. Um, I think his the biggest thing that he helped me with is just understanding in my past set where to stop setting. And so like so I stopped oversetting, like just really staying inside out on defenders and things like that and being strong when I get to that point and things like that. I think he, that's – that's the biggest thing that he helped me with, for sure. For you, you were back with Duke recently, right? Mm-hmm. And are, are you going to work with him some more in the summer? Or yep, in the summertime. Yeah, I'll go back out there. Any uh, Rashawn? I know has been working. Anybody? Any other teammates? Uh, Foster went down there too. Yeah, yeah. So he was down there for however long, eight, ten weeks in the spring. So yeah, he was down there with us, which was awesome to have him down there too. Uh, it's been pretty well. I was working out. I went back home to Atlanta. I worked out uh, this spot called Pinnacle Prospects. Um, got some good work in. It's a lot of competition in there. A lot of guys I played with in college. Um, a lot of guys around the league in general just come in and get some good work. Um, but, you know, I knew I had things to work on, uh, obviously making the transition to a different position. Um, so, yeah, I always try to get across train in the off season. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, it's kind of hard to slow down sometimes for football players for us because, uh, you know, when it's, it's, a, it's a certain time period where you slow down and you go and you go on vacation and you spend time with family. But I just feel like it's such a quick turnaround, especially when you go to the, deep into the playoffs or deep into the season like we did last year. Um, it's, for me, it's kind of hard to slow down and stop working and, get, and be reflective because uh, for me, I feel like I'm not working hard enough. So uh, I think I have had some time to kind of think about it. Everybody tries to ask me about it. I'm just like, you know what happened? I'm, kind of ready to move on to the next adventure, which is this season. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I've thought about it, and I, it's, it's kind of a whirlwind then, but, you know, ready to look forward to what's next. Right, now you moved around in college, so what, what about this this uh, position trans, uh, transformation for you? Uh, I mean, like I always say, I've always said I'm a team first type of player. I've always wanted to be open to plan, to doing whatever the team needs me to do. Obviously, that worked out in my favor last year. Being I always, Like I said, I always try to cross train in the off season, so I'm not exactly sure where I'll land yet, but – um, you know, I just want to be available to play, you know, whatever the team needs me to play. I want to be able to be on the field and help in any, t- any type of way that I can. So. And what about the, the – what is just the basic differences between playing tackle and guard? What, what yeah. Uh, I'd say uh, tackle is uh, – it's more uh, – I guess, I guess it's, it, it causes for more explosion as far as that tackle. As far as with your feet, um, uh, with, and I feel like guard is more quick twitch. Things happen a lot faster on the inside than they do on the outside. Like most of the time at tackle, you're blocking probably the best pound for pound player on the field, but he's a good athlete, but you're normally just blocking that person for like 70% of the game at guard. There's twist and there's backers, there's nickels that come, there's safeties that, that show up on the inside. Um, so you got to think a, li- a lot faster at guard, or, whereas at tackle, you got to play a lot faster, but it's not as much thinking most of the time and just kind of out there, you know, playing the game. So. Uh, feed her hands. I don't know, but it's not. It's not uh, I guess it's, it's fr- from a from a doing it standpoint. Obviously, everything is flipped. But from a mental standpoint, it's, it's football. Um, I try not to overcomplicate it. I try not to overdo it. Um, when it when it happens, I just try to take the coaching, take the cr- criticism as I can. And and like I said, I train I train off season both sides most of the time at both positions. So um, to me, it's just going out there and playing football. And what is his dad like now? Oh yeah, he's a great coach, uh, great person. Uh, we've had, had a chance to meet with him today. Um, I, I got a chance to talk to him in the off season. Um, he's very, very creative with his play calling. Um, obviously, uh, the Cowboys uh, in his previous at his previous stint with them, they were known as a very physical team, um, and they had very creative. You know, they, he's very good at setting up plays for them. They have, they've had a very successful offense, so you know, the proof's in the pudding for him. But I'm excited to see what he can do for us here. Uh, we're just kind of started really starting to get into meetings to understand. We haven't gotten too deep into the to the plays and whatnot, but um, you know, I mean, all we have is all we have is what he's done in the past, and um, what he's done in the past is. I mean, everybody knows the Cowboys have been a physical team, so um, we're excited about that if that if that comes to be. But you know, at the end of the day, he's going to call the plays, and we got to execute whatever it is. So, uh, yeah. Last year, obviously, you had to go through the draft process and everything. 
What are like some of the main differences you noticed now in your first like full off season as a pro? Uh, in the, between the draft process and being a pro. Yeah, like just like the off season, the training, and everything. Uh, it's night and day. I mean, you got to fly to Indy, and then you got to fly to Pensacola to train, and then you got to make space for your family somewhere in there. Whereas, like you know, NFL off season, when you get you get rookie year behind you, you can just kind of chill for a little bit. You just kind of relax. You know, you get uh, spend time with the guys for a little bit after the season, and you spend time with your family. Um, go places, do things. You got a little bit of change in your pocket. Like it's, it's a lot better. But it's like you know, rookie year. I'm like, I got a change in my pocket, but you know, I'm gonna have to pay it back. And it's just a lot of stuff you gotta think about. So, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, you gotta make some decisions when you when you're coming into it, <laughs> especially if you <laughs> especially if you're a late round pick. You know, you gotta make choices. So, but yeah, no, it's 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 been a lot different. <laughs> So I'm serious. I'm not joking, guys. But you know, it's it's obviously you know uh, going into year two has been a lot more smooth, and um, I had a lot of fun this off season, getting to spend time with family, getting to do things with my family, and uh, getting to work, just getting to train, getting to focus just on football, not a forty yard dash, not a vertical. You know, it's been cool. Uh, let's say hypothetically, let's say you end up at right guard. Um, what's your relationship like with Trey and Corey, and just like the vibe with those two guys? Yeah, I mean those guys. I they they. I mean, just transitioning into the league, they were probably two of the better bets that I could have. Even having Matt last year, then those guys really made it easy for me to come in and, um, you know, be in the position that I was in and, and excel. They didn't put more pressure on me than I could take or anything like that. They just, you know, was like, we, we need you to, you know, do what you need to do, and uh, we trust you. And that's really the biggest thing with me is last year they instilled a lot of trust in me. Um, even talking to Trey now, I, I could tell he trusts me a lot. Talking to Corey, he trusts me a lot. Um, and I feel like I've earned that to a degree, but I want to keep earning that. I want to keep earning their respect, their trust um, by the way that I carry myself. But I'm not going to ask for better vets to have come in this season with.